My name is Aaron Drucker and I'm a dermatologist at Women's College Hospital and the lead author on this study from the International Eczema Council on the use of systemic steroids for atopic dermatitis. A number of studies have shown that people with moderate or severe atopic dermatitis are frequently prescribed systemic steroids such as prednisone. And that's despite guidelines uh, from various different groups recommending against their use. So a lot of these prescriptions are probably inappropriate. Uh, the unfortunate thing is there's not a lot of evidence in the literature to either support or go against the use of systemic steroids, but we know that they can have a lot of side effects and that many patients who are given systemic steroids for their atopic dermatitis will have their disease flare once the systemic steroids are stopped. So because of that lack of evidence, we aim to provide some consensus from the International Eczema Council on when and how these medications can be used. We started by conducting an informal survey of International Eczema Council members on how and when they use systemic steroids for atopic dermatitis. We then met face to face uh, to get people's perspectives uh, and get any additional feedback before creating a formal consensus survey, which was then sent out to the counselors of the International Eczema Council. We had 60 respondents from 20 different countries uh, from the International Eczema Council, and we reached consensus on 12 different statements concerning the use of systemic steroids for three different age groups, for young children, for older children, and for adults. The counselors agreed that systemic corticosteroids could be used in the most severe cases, in cases where there are, all no, there are no alternatives, in acute flares in need of immediate relief, uh, or in the event of uh, important life events like a wedding where the patient needed to be clear right away. Uh, we did not reach consensus on exactly how they should be used. Consensus was reached that use should be for short term only, but we didn't define that explicitly. Um, it also should be noted that most participants felt that systemic steroids should never be used for atopic dermatitis in young children, uh, but consensus was not formally reached on those statements. Uh, well, as I said before, uh, we I uh, think that a lot of these prescriptions for systemic steroids for patients with severe atopic dermatitis are, be, are being given out inappropriately. Uh, that there are often alternatives that would be better for uh, most patients or for many patients. And so we hope that uh, our consensus statements provide some guidance for clinicians, whether they be dermatologists, allergists, general practitioners, pediatricians, uh, to curb the inappropriate use of systemic steroids and to limit their use to situations that are in fact appropriate. And hopefully this will lead to better outcomes for patients with atopic dermatitis.